Creating a DIY security system doesn't have to be hard or cost a ton of money or even require a monthly subscription. With the car, you can build a do-it-yourself security system that works with HomeKit without breaking the bank. Almost all of their cameras and hubs include a security system function that's accessible in HomeKit. And today we're gonna to take a closer look at setting all that up and using this feature. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Shane. If you're new here and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit with new videos published every Sunday. I've also been doing live streams every week right here on YouTube all about HomeKit and smart home stuff. So uh, be sure to turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next time I go live. Thanks to Acara for sponsoring today's video. Now, I've done a few videos on the Acara stuff in the past and there's a video I'll link down below talking about all of their different hubs and sort of help you determine which one might be the best option for you. There are five different hubs in that video and soon there will be a sixth one, the Acara G2H Pro, which is not available yet in the US but should be real soon. One thing that all of these hubs have in common, with the exception of the original G2H camera, is that they expose a security system to HomeKit. Seems like every time I make a video about the Acara hubs and sensors, I get a lot of questions about using and setting up the security system, so that's what today's video is all about. So as you might know, Acara sells many different types of actually very affordable sensors that can be paired with any of these hubs. These sensors or child devices connect to the hubs via Zigbee, which makes them extremely fast and reliable in my experience. Now, as a side note, Acara has announced that they'll be selling thread-based motion and door sensors later this year, which essentially means you shouldn't need a hub at all for those. So that'll be pretty interesting once we get a chance to try those out and you know see what that's all about. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss those videos once they're published. Now, to utilize the security system function, even within HomeKit, you do need to be using Acara sensors. For example, you know, your Eve door sensor cannot trigger the alarm on your security system. And that's not really the fault of Acara. That's more of a limitation within HomeKit. That's pretty much how all other HomeKit security systems that I've used works. And the reason is you don't really get access to configure your security system in HomeKit. You have to do all that in the manufacturer's app in this case, the Acara app. In order to utilize the security system, you need to sign into the Acara app. They do have a HomeKit only mode in the app, which does not require you to sign in, but to access these features, you do need to sign in. One thing to note, if you do prefer using it in HomeKit only mode, you can sign into the app, configure your alarm modes, then sign out of the app, and you can use you know, the security system in HomeKit only mode and it'll still all work properly after it's been configured in the app. I hope that makes sense. So once signed in on the home tab, you'll see the little alert icon towards the top of the screen. If you tap that, you'll see four different alert modes, 24 seven alert, home guard, away guard, and night guard. Below that, you'll see an alert log. The 24 seven alert mode is one that runs all the time. This is great for things like water sensors. So I want an alert and notification anytime one of these you know, water sensors is triggered 24 seven. These other alert alert modes match up with those in HomeKit. So if I set the alert mode to Home Guard, it will arm the security system with the same mode over in the Home app. To configure these, just tap the edit button and choose which mode you want to edit. You have a few options here, but the important one is the trigger device part. This is where you'll choose which sensors will trigger your alarm when that mode is set. Tap the plus icon and I can scroll through and choose any of the Acara sensors that I want. You can even choose different attributes from the camera hubs as triggers if you have one of those, something like motion detected or abnormal sound detected might be useful for a security system. Now you'll see the alarm action. This, this is what happens if the alarm is ever triggered. Receive a push notification from the Acara app and you can select the volume and which sound will play. A really great feature is that the alert system will interact with all of the hubs in your home. When the alarm is triggered, 
If you have multiple Acara hubs, all of those hubs will sound the alarm at the same time. So we'll talk more about using multiple hubs and sensors in the same house here in just a minute. Next, we have some other options like an exit and entry delay, which gives you some extra time when you're leaving or entering your home to disarm the system before the alarm is triggered. We also have some automation options here for arming or disarming the system. For example, I can tap switch arming, disarming automatically, choose an accessory and tap my Akara button. Now a simple press of this button will toggle the alarm mode on and off. And that's how you configure the alarm modes. You can go in and do the same thing for each other mode that you wanna use. And once your alarm modes are all configured, you can use the home app or home kit to control the security system. As you can see, if I arm one of the modes, it is reflected appropriately in the Akar app. If something triggers the alarm, the alarm is triggered in home kit. And this is great because now I can create HomeKit automations around my security system and even those different modes. For example, you can turn certain lights blue or red when certain alert modes are armed, or you can automate all the lights to come on or even flash red, you know, something like that if the security system is ever triggered. Lots you can do with this. Quick note though, regarding the automations, the Home app only lets you automate based on when the alarm is triggered, disarmed, or armed which is nice, but if you wanna set automations based on those specific alarm modes like home or away, you can do that using third-party HomeKit apps that I've talked about before, like you know the Home Plus app or controller for HomeKit. Now let's talk about using multiple Acara hubs, which might be possible. You might have multiple Acara cameras or maybe the M1S hub because you like the nightlight, things like that. All of their hubs expose a security system accessory to HomeKit except for the original G2H camera. So it might be a little annoying to have multiple security systems in HomeKit, but you can kind of hide the other Acara security systems in separate rooms or if they're exposed to HomeKit through a camera like the G3 or the G2H Pro, you can just choose to show as a single tile in the settings and then you'll only see the camera feed and you won't see those extra security systems uh, there in your home app. But what's great is that they all work really well together. So if I arm one, you know, in the home app, the others will arm automatically to the correct alarm mode. If one is triggered, they all will sound the alarm, which is great. Of course, only the hubs with speakers, you know, built in can play a sound, which is all of them except for the E1. Uh, so the E1 will show as triggered and work the same in HomeKit, but of course it can't play sounds because there's no speaker on that one. And even the original G2H, even though it doesn't have a security system function built in, does play that alarm sound if your other Akar hub is triggered. So that's cool. Now, one thing to note, while all the hubs will sound the alarm, only the one that that particular triggered sensor is paired to will show as triggered in the home app in the event that the alarm is ever set off. Just something to be aware of if you're using the alarm triggered state in your automations along with you know multiple hubs and stuff like that. Now there are pros and cons to using something like this for your security system. Obviously it does require you having power to your home and some other things don't work you know quite as well if there's no internet. There's no battery backup or cellular backup you know, something that you might get with a more professional, dedicated security system. But the affordability and the DIY nature of something like this, I think is very appealing to many. And if those things are a concern, you can always connect your uh, Acara hub to a USB battery backup surge protector, something like that, which could provide power in the event of a power outage. And since it works locally with HomeKit, your sensors can actually still trigger the alarm even when there is no internet to the hub. Some things won't work quite as well, you know, with no internet, like if you're using multiple hubs, for example, uh, only the hub that a sensor is paired to can trigger, but like if you only have one hub and a bunch of sensors, uh, that will still all work with no internet because HomeKit works locally. So if you have that alarm mode set and one of these sensors is triggered, uh, it will still sound that alarm even with no internet, which is pretty cool. 
Overall, I think these DIY security systems are great and actually work really well, especially considering how complex it can get once you start adding in multiple hubs. They all work really well together. Like I always say, I love that in a car hub can be a security system, a camera, IR blaster, among other things, and you know, of course, a hub to connect all your sensors to. If you're still not sure which a car hub would be best for you, check out this video right here that will help you make that decision. If you want to support this channel even further, consider becoming a channel member and get perks like behind the scenes access to our members only discord as you're building your smart home. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for new home kit videos every Sunday. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.